Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 18th of 2022, well, it is titled a jewel on the flower moon. So what do we see here? Well, this is the image of an, an image from the total lunar eclipse that occurred a few days ago. And that occurs when our moon passes into Earth's shadow. And because of that, then the light from the sun that normally illuminates the moon is blocked out and the moon would then disappear from sight for a while. However, in, this doesn't exactly occur because Earth has an atmosphere around it. If the Earth had no atmosphere, this would be a blank image with just a little tiny bit at the top, where this little bit just before this hit, hit the total portion of the eclipse is still being illuminated by the sun up there then that would be the only portion visible. But because of Earth's atmosphere, light can bend through that atmosphere and into Earth's shadow. So Earth's shadow is not completely dark as we would normally expect with other solid objects. Any object with an atmosphere could then bend light through it and would have a color in its shadow. Now what color would be there? Well, we see it as this deep red, which gives it the name of sometimes the blood moon. And that is because the longer wavelengths are better able to get through all of the layers of atmosphere and penetrate into Earth's shadow. Very similar to the reason that the sun and moon look very red when they're low on the horizon. We're looking through a larger amount of atmosphere at those angles and all of the shorter wavelengths are scattered out and only the reds can make it through the atmosphere. Well, the same kind of thing occurs here. All of the light strikes the Earth's atmosphere, but only the redder colors can make it into the shadow. So that's why the lower portion of this is a deep red. And then just before, uh, just, after, sorry, just after this image, then we would have had the totality of the lunar eclipse with the moon completely in Earth's shadow and the last little remnant there that was being directly illuminated by our sun would no longer would all look red. So the deepness of the red would depend on how deep it is into Earth's shadow. Because Earth is much larger than our moon, it would cast a very large shadow that would completely engulf the moon in this case for about an hour and a half. So the how deep within the uh, deepest shadow we call the umbra would be uh, depends would show us how red this would appear. So we see the deeper red towards the bottom, where the moon was deep into the Earth's shadow and we see lighter yellowish colors up towards the top, where it was not quite as deep into the Earth's shadow. And then of course, the last little bit on top, which had not quite reached the Earth's shadow at this point, still being directly illuminated by our sun. So that was our picture of the day for May 18th of 2022. It was titled A Jewel on the Flower Moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.